More than a hundred British soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan and several hundred injured. But the death of a woman, Corporal Sarah Bryant, the first female soldier to be killed in this operation, produced poignant headlines. The public, indeed the press, are still not accustomed to female military casualties, but they have had a long time to get used to them. Hannah Snell served in the Army, then the Royal Marines. She was wounded and granted a pension and buried here in the Royal Hospital Chelsea in 1792. Women like Hannah were rarities, but the 20th century saw their role in war increasing. First and Second World Wars saw women at the forefront of military involvement and really was the watershed, the opening point of women becoming involved, which continued throughout the 20th century. There have always been reservations about women going to war. As old soldiers might say, they just can't hack it. In the first Gulf War, the British Army still had no women near the front line of the invasion of Iraq. I found myself the only woman among 43,000 men. But since, there's been radical change. But in Bosnia and since, seeing women in combat dress, carrying rifles, serving alongside men, is now commonplace. All the female soldiers I've ever met feel they're doing a real job. And that's what it is, a job, not a feminist statement. And it's absolutely no different whether you're male or female. We're all there facing the same risks. Um, we go out on the ground doing exactly the same job um, to achieve the same mission. Some people may have difficulty accepting the role that women now play in war, but the women at war see it as a job, and they're proud to do it.